weaknesses. Let's turn it down. We're going to list some strengths and weaknesses. Um, first one was access and parking. Right, currently we would expect to have three major access points, two being from Madison, one being from Red Bank. Uh, we proposed a surface lot here because it kind of some variability of what happens with Madison and Red Bank and change a little bit on what happens here. Uh, this building here was an existing building at Med Pace, had some interest in converting to a parking garage, so we looked at that too. And then we proposed to have another parking structure here. Next, you move to obstacle, obstacles on the site, uh, one being the pipeline that runs underneath the site, uh, second being the intersection of Madison and Red Bank, and third being the industrial complex that's kind of located behind the site. We looked at green spaces that surround the site and maybe a way to connect them throughout the site. Uh, we looked at, since the site will have some retail on it, we wanted to identify where the, uh, the best place for that to be, which is right around the corner. From both Red Bank and Madison. Uh, from there, we kind of came up with two site strategies. One being more formal, with Red Bank here. Make back. a little louder. Uh, and the second being one that kind of focused more on some green space in the center. And that was kind of where we jumped our starting point. Yeah, and from our uh, departure point, we started looking at different theories that we could use. Louder. Started looking at different theories we could use on the site. Um, and so the book that we chose to look at was Collage City by Colin Rowe. Uh, sort of the idea that um, some of the best cities have evolved from dialectical arrangements between uh, two very different environments. So as a precedent, we were just looking at Rome. And uh, you see this image here on the left is basically uh, an axis uh, view looking at St. Peter's, a perspective view. And the view on the right here is sort of what occurs in between those spaces. And uh, obviously the environment that they create is very different. You have large public thoroughfares versus more intimate smaller spaces. So we wanted to use this sort of like dialectical arrangement on the site, um, this same sort of condition. And uh, what we used as the two factors was sort of the site's uh, former industrial component. Um, like, we, like we were talking about, there's a lot of in industry that's historically been on the new tone site. So we wanted to incorporate sort of an industrial feel in into it but also the um, new sort of contemporary development that's been happening, happening along uh, Red Bank uh, Expressway. So we have two distinct styles, sort of industrial, sort of contemporary, we're kind of mashing them together on the site. That's what these diagrams right here are showing. Uh, essentially the purple represents the kind of industrial spaces, and the uh, yellow represents the more contemporary ones. And we orient this, uh, the contemporary ones, along this green space that is actually above the big uh, pipe that we've been trying not to disturb. So we tried to <coughs> turn pipe and turn it into an asset by making this sort of this green space uh, kind of perspective area. Uh, down here, we're just looking at um, the, the uh, contemporary sort of building styles that come into the site versus the industrial ones and how, how they relate, essentially. Um, of course, uh, the, <laughs> the initial inventor, if you want to call it, of collage is Picasso. So just for an in instance, we uh, used uh, this particular painting has a precedent where he used two unlike things and put them together to form sort of a, a new new thing. So this is our kind of big grand scheme, just based on that idea. Um, all the orange is sort of retail or commercial establishments. Uh, so you can see they occur along Madison and Red Bank. Um, they're smaller scale than the industrial spaces. Um, versus um, things like this, which would be office spaces and some of the uh, kind of industrial style buildings. Um, Medpace sits uh, right back here. And kind of the idea here is that everything sort of surrounds these green spaces, these axes that tie everything together. So you could be a resident over here and, uh, you know, ideally um, use the park space here or walk down to retail. It's obviously a clear connection. Um, Conversely, you could come to the retail area, park, uh, do some shopping, and then maybe enjoy the green spaces. Uh, you know, I don't know, maybe uh, get your taxes done or something here too. Um, but we weren't looking too much at the actual uh, uh, sort of businesses that would be in there aside from MedPace. And like I said, MedPace is right back here. And the idea is that, uh, um, again, you have sort of this really great interaction with the green spaces. Um, back here is also, we're sort of building on the sort of residential character by creating townhouses right here. So just at the very end in the park area, there's these townhouses. Um, and Nick, I'm 
much you talk about like parking. 